The story begins with an Aztec god of death and lightning, the Zolotol. As legends have it, he was a monstrous dog that guarded the sun god and ushered souls into the underworld every night. One day, as the gods began sacrificing each other for the newly created sun, Zolotol, a master transformer, managed to escape death by turning himself into a salamander. And that creature became known as the axolotl. In ancient Aztec tongue, the name axolotl translates to water monster. And just as the name suggests, these creatures lived their entire lives underwater using these adorable feather gills to breathe. After being driven to near extinction from their only natural habitats in central Mexico, these creatures are now found in more labs than anywhere else. This is because the axolotl is one of nature's scrappiest creatures with a unique ability that has baffled the scientific community for decades. Axolotls are unique among salamanders because they are neotenic, which means that they reach adulthood without going through metamorphosis. So they retain all of their juvenile features like us millennials. While most salamanders will grow up, lose their gills and their dorsal fin as they get bigger and emerge onto land, axolotls will keep their feathery external gills and remain underwater permanently. It is extremely rare, but sometimes axolotls will reach maturity and go through metamorphosis. But even then, they tend to keep to the water. This has been accomplished in the lab by injecting them with a shot of iodine, after which they more closely resemble their relatives, the tiger salamander. Axolotls can get pretty big, measuring around a foot or 30 centimeters long, fully grown, and they have long lives, around 15 years in the wild. But probably the most interesting thing about them is their intense ability to regenerate. Many amphibians do have the ability to regenerate, but axolotls blow the competition out of the water. Not only can they perfectly and seemingly endlessly regenerate limbs, but they can also regenerate their spinal cord, jaw, tail and skin, all without scarring. No matter how many times you cut off their limbs, they'll grow back perfectly. Every single time. And you wouldn't even be able to tell that you had cut off their limbs in the first place. You could also even cut out a chunk of their spine, come back in a month and a half, and they'll be no worse for wear. They are also a thousand times more resistant to cancer than any other animal. It works like this. After the amputation, the cells at the site of the amputation lose their identity. So instead of being skin cells or blood cells, they become similar to stem cells, called pluripotent cells. And they're able to make any cell or tissue that the body would need to repair itself. In this case, they use the pluripotent cells to generate all the cells and tissues needed to create new, perfect limbs. This phenomenon is a favorite among the scientific community for its potential to help burn victims, amputees, and even cancer victims. Scientists have experimented with modifying the genetic makeup of axolotls to include the green fluorescent protein, which is the protein that makes many jellyfish bioluminescent. While not just making axolotls look cooler, the glowing protein allows scientists to see things inside the axolotls that they couldn't before. For example, they'll tag cancerous cells with the protein, and then they can actually see how it spreads throughout their bodies. Even more interesting is that axolotls have plug-and-play body parts. You can amputate one axolotl's leg and place it in another axolotl, and it'll attach itself. In a study published in Science Magazine in 1968, scientists were able to successfully transplant an axolotl head onto the back of another axolotl. One subject lived for 65 weeks after the operation, with its second head growing right along with the first head. 